The theorem of Bolzano and Weierstrass is a central tool which is needed when proving several properties of continuous functions. Start by recalling that we say that a sequence a1, a2, a3 and so forth is increasing if a n is less than or equal to a n plus 1 for all n. We say that a sequence is strictly increasing if we have strict inequality between a n and a n plus 1. Likewise, the sequence a1, a2, a3 and so forth is decreasing if a n plus 1 is at most a n for all n. And here also we say that the sequence is strictly decreasing if we have strict inequality between a n plus 1 and a n. Monotonic sequences are defined using these concepts. We said that a sequence a1, a2, a3 is monotonic if it is either increasing or decreasing. And a sequence a1, a2, a3 and so forth is bounded if there are numbers capital M and small case M such that small case M is at most a n and is at most capital case M for all n. We have discussed monotonic sequences earlier and we have seen that a bounded monotonic sequence always has a finite limit. This is an important result. Now we say that a sequence x and k where k goes from 1, 2, 3 and so forth is a subsequence of the sequence xn if n k plus 1 is always larger than n k for all k. So a subsequence x n k simply chooses some numbers of the sequence x n without changing the order of these numbers. The bolzano weierstrass theorem says that every sequence of real numbers has a monotonic subsequence. To prove the bolzano weierstrass theorem, which says that every sequence of real numbers has a monotonic subsequence, we start by defining the concept of a peak. We say that a positive integer m is a peak of the sequence xn if um, all elements of the sequence after this index m are smaller than xm. So m is a peak of the sequence xn, if whenever n is larger than m, xm is larger than xn. Now, if the sequence has infinitely many peaks, m1 less than m2 less than m3, then by the definition of, of, of the peaks, the subsequence formed by xmk is a decreasing subsequence. And in this case, the proof is already complete. If the sequence does not have infinitely many peaks, then it has finitely many peaks and let mp be the largest peak. No index after mp is a peak. We let n1 to be mp plus 1. Since n1 is not a peak, there is a number n2 such that xn2 is greater than or equal to xn1. And then we repeat the previous. n2 is larger than n1, which was mp plus 1. Therefore, n2 is not a peak either. And there is a number n3 such that xn3 is larger than xn2. So we repeat this process and we get an increasing sequence x and k and this completes the proof. In the case of infinitely many peaks we found a decreasing subsequence and in the case of finitely many peaks we found an increasing subsequence. This means that every su sequence of real numbers has a monotonic subsequence. We have now shown the bolzano weierstrass theorem, which says that every sequence of real numbers has a monotonic subsequence. We have previously seen that a bounded monotonic sequence always has a finite limit. These two results together mean that 
a bounded sequence always has a converging subsequence, a very important result. This result is due to Bernard Bolzano, born in 1781, died 1848. He was a bohemian mathematician, logician, philosopher, and a priest, professor at the University of Prague. The precise presentation of these materials is due to Karl Weierstrass, the proof we have seen here. He was born in 1815, died 1897. He was a German mathematician and one of the most important fathers of modern analysis. He was a professor at the Technical University of Berlin. 